Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. Today we will talk about vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is a crucial nutrient that plays a significant role in various physiological processes in the body. Here are some benefits, rich food sources, and important informations and potential harms associated with vitamin K2. We will start with the benefits. It has benefits on bone. It's essential for the regulation of calcium in the body helping to maintain strong and healthy bones. It activates osteocalcin, which is a protein responsible for binding calcium to the bone matrix. Adequate vitamin K2 levels have been associated with a reduced risk of fractures and osteoporosis, particularly in the elderly population. We have cardiovascular health benefits. Vitamin K2 plays a critical role in cardiovascular health by preventing calcium from accumulating in the arteries and blood vessels. It helps to regulate calcium metabolism, promoting the flexibility and integrity of arterial walls. This can reduce the risk of arterial calcification and atherosclerosis, which are major contributors to the cardiovascular diseases. Let's talk about dental health by aiding the proper mineralization of teeth it may potentially reduce the risk of dental cavities and contribute to overall dental well-being. Emerging research suggests that vitamin K2 may have a positive impact on cognitive health. Some studies have explored its potential role in supporting brain function and reducing the risk of neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's. Vitamin K2 exhibits antioxidant properties, meaning it can help neutralize harmful free radicals in the body. By combating oxidative stress, vitamin K2 contributes to cellular health and may play a part in reducing the risk of chronic diseases linked to free radical damage. Some studies have indicated that vitamin K2 might have a role in reducing the risk of certain cancers its ability to influence cellular functions and inhibit tumor growth has been explored as a potential protective factor against cancer development. We have insulin sensitivity. Vitamin K2 may be involved in, in improving insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. By assisting in proper insulin function, it could have implications for managing type 2 diabetes and related metabolic conditions. Immune system support is another benefit. Maintaining adequate level of vitamin K2 is vital for well-functioning immune system. It may contribute to enhancing the body's defense mechanisms against infections and illnesses. We have skin health, vitamin K2 has been linked to skin health and wound healing. Its role in regulating the calcium in the skin cells may play a part in supporting healthy skin and aiding the recovery of wounds and injuries. We have hormonal balance. Some studies suggest that vitamin K2 may influence hormonal balance within the body. Although more research is needed, this potential benefit highlights its broader impact on various physiological processes. Now we have talked about benefits of vitamin K2. We will talk about rich food sources of vitamin K2. We have natto, which is a traditional Japanese dish made from fermented soybeans. It's a standout source for vitamin K2, especially MK7 subtype it's highly regarded for its free robust nutritional profile and provides a significant amount of this essential nutrient certain cheeses are excellent sources of vitamin k2 particularly in the mk4 form the fermentation process contributes to the presence of this beneficial vitamin in these dairy products among animal-based sources, we have chicken liver, and it's a rich provider of vitamin K2, MK4 subtype. Incorporating this organ meat into diet can be a valuable way to obtain vitamin K2. 
egg yolks also contain vitamin K2, primarily in the MK4 form. While butter contains smaller amounts of vitamin K2, it's still a worthy source of the MK4 form. Enjoying butter from its fed animals can enhance the vitamin K2 content. Another unique source is emu oil, which is derived from emu fat, contains MK4 subtype. It's utilized for various purposes, including skin care like eczema, dermatitis, and can be included in the diet to support vitamin K2 levels. A fermented cabbage dish, sauerkraut, which is also a good probiotic, may contain some vitamin K2. The fermentation process likely contributes to the presence of this nutrient in the final product. But before you do any dietary changes or supplement usage, it's advisable to consult a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to tailor your nutrition to individual needs and health conditions. And some information you need to know about vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is a fat soluble vitamin, which means it's better absorbed in the presence of dietary fats. Consuming vitamin K2 rich foods with healthy fats can improve absorption. So you can consume olive oil, avocado, nuts and seeds, dark chocolate, coconut oil, fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines. These are high in omega-3 fats, full fat yogurts. Remember that moderation is key as these fats are calorie dense. A well-balanced diet that includes variety of nutrient dense foods and good fats can help optimize the absorption and utilization of vitamin K2, promoting overall health and well-being. And now we will talk about the difference between vitamin K1 and vitamin K2 briefly. Vitamin K1 mainly involved in blood clotting, while K2 is primarily associated with bone health and cardiovascular support. Vitamin K1 predominantly found in green leafy vegetables and plant oils, whereas vitamin K2 is more abundant in animal-based foods and fermented products. Let's talk about potential harms. Vitamin K2 is generally considered safe when consumed from food sources. However, excessive supplementation without proper medical guidance may lead to potential harms such as vitamin K plays a role in blood clotting, so high doses of vitamin K2 can interfere with anticoagulant medications like warfarin if you are using them. If you are on blood thinning medications, it's essential to consult your healthcare professional before taking any vitamin K supplements. Some people may be sensitive or allergic to certain vitamin K2 rich foods like natto or dairy products. Allergic reactions could range from mild to severe and require medical attention. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our vitamin B2 benefits, vitamin C excess symptoms, folate deficiency signs videos and see you on the next one.